Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the What We Said podcast. Hope you're having a great week so far. Happy Tuesday. Today, we have a very fun episode for you like we always do. We are going to be reading about your accidental texts, which is always a good one. My always favorite. a classic. Honestly, one of my favorite, probably top three uh, subjects to talk about because there's nothing more cringy. Exactly. And there's some stories that really just stick with me that we read on the podcast. And a lot of them are accidental texts. I'll never forget the story of the girl who accidentally recorded her pooping and sent it to her friend's dad. (laughs) Not a video, worse, a sound recording, a voice memo. I don't know if that's worse than a video, That's true. true. but yeah, there are some that will just stick with you for life. Yeah. Sending a nude to your father-in-law. Next level, horrible. Next level, never forget. I love that we've been doing more story episodes. That's kind of the um, foundation. The foundation and the root of our podcast is reacting to stories. So Mm -hmm. we've been bringing it back because we listen to you guys. And a lot of you have been wanting more story episodes, which we're always happy to deliver. Happy to deliver on because it's so fun. I know. Um, (gasps) Someone stole my road lip gloss. Where is it? I don't know, actually. I think I threw it in my bag. (laughs) The whole point of it is to have it so handy. <laughs> um, Case literally takes the lip gloss out all the time, though. It's really? his favorite toy, apparently. I'm like, okay. Yeah, it's just like, I'll just find it on the couch. Because it is really cool. Like, if my mom had this when I was little, I would be all over this. Taking it out, putting it back in, it's so fun. It's like a little puzzle. It is. It's like a, do you fidget with it? Yeah. You know how, like, when I had a pop socket on my phone, I would always, you know a pop socket? Yeah. I would always be fidgeting with it. Or what was the other thing? Even the, like... Little uh, rings. Octo body th- oh, or yeah. octo body thing that goes on it. Mm-hmm. It's kind of nice to have a little a little element to, to fidget, fidget around with, with on the phone. I know. Um, I had such a weird Postmates experience that I wanted to tell you about. Really? Well, I tell mean, me. it's it, it wasn't it wasn't that crazy, but I was I was a little thrown off. Okay. So I ordered some food on Postmates the other day, and I get a call. From the Postmate. Okay. Which again, normally it's Is like- Is that what they're called? The drivers, the, the Postmate? I think so. That's cute. It's a cute little name. Also, I feel like we use Postmates a lot, but a lot of people that I know use DoorDash. Georgia, Georgia. <laughs> DoorDash is good. It has a lot more options, I think. You think? Well, I feel like on DoorDash, sometimes you can't um, be as- uh, you can't make as many customizations, it feels mm-hmm. like, sometimes. I don't know. True. I mean, I, I'm not... I can use both. I'll use any delivery service. I don't yeah. really care. But anyway, I ordered some stuff, and I get a call, and it's, like, right around the time that it's supposed to be being delivered mm-hmm. to me. And so I answer, but it's, like, from an unknown number, you know? Like, mm-hmm. I don't know what the number is. But I've I've also been in my era of answering all of my calls lately because... um. I never know if it's like a delivery for my house. Cause sometimes if I don't know the number, I'm like, oh, whatever. But then they'll leave a message and be like, hi, we're delivering your tile today. And I'm like, oh, oh. shoot. Like, so anyway, it was a random number, but it was around the time. So I was like, oh, it's probably the person delivering the stuff, the food. So I answer and she's like, um, hi, JC. And I'm like, hi. And she goes, are you here? And I'm like, uh, I said, I, th- I can't even remember. I was so thrown off. I'm like, wait, wait. What, here, where? Here. I was like, am I at my house? Because I was like trying to verify. Yeah. And she's like kind of laughing. She's like, yeah, are you here? And I was like, I'm sorry, who is this? And she's like, it's, uh, and it kind of cut out. Like oh, right no. when she said to, who it was, she was like, it's da 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 So I didn't hear the name or anything. And then I heard her be like, for Uber Eats, which is like post my, I think it's all under yeah, the same yeah. umbrella mm-hmm. or whatever. And I was like, oh yeah, um, yeah, are you at the door? Like you could just drop, I, was like, I said, could you just drop it at the door? Yeah. Or no, 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 then she goes again. She's like, and she's like kind of laughing. She's like, are you here? Like you're here, right? And I'm like, at my house? Yeah, but could you just drop it off, off at the door? What? And she's like, oh, okay. Like, yeah, I could. And she's like, is this your rabbit out here? Like the, our car? Oh, I was like, huh? Sorry, not... <laughs> Just this most confusing story. Just in a story. So, you know, we have our vintage, like, little car, and it's a rabbit. Like, it's a Volkswagen rabbit. Yeah. She's like, is this your rabbit out here? Like, your vintage rabbit? And I was like, yeah. I mean, technically, my husband's, because I didn't know if she's going to, like, ask me questions about it. I'm like, I don't really know a lot about the car, if that's what you're getting at. She's like, oh, okay. She's like, yeah, I I could just leave it. Like, I guess. She's acting so, like, like, it's weird that I'm asking her to leave it at the door when those are always my instructions. Like, I'm not trying to come out and meet you. Like, 
Yeah. And I hung up and she like left it and took a picture and I'm like, what just happened? Oh, so it actually was her. Yeah. Oh, what I thought do you it mean? Was maybe I thought it was the turn of the story was that maybe it was going to be someone else like that you were supposed to be like at an appointment or something. And she was like, no, are you here? No, it's just like what? a postmate. But she was like so confused as to why. And she, I was like, does she know? Does she follow me or something? Because I was like, how did oh, she know my name so well? And then she was like, like, oh, Knew come the name out. of a rabbit. Like, yeah. I would never know that that's what that car was called. You know? Right. Sometimes older people will be like, but oh. she wasn't even that old. Um, Like, when we're in public, they're like, I love your rabbit. Because they, yeah. like, grew up with that car because it's yeah. from the 80s. Yeah. So, but anyway, I just found the whole thing. Like, the, she's like, are Very you here? Interesting. Where are you? Are you here? I'm like, I, I literally thought I had plans with someone. I'm like. Yeah. I was like, sorry. At the restaurant? This? Like, where am I? What am I supposed to be at? She's like. I'm from Uber Eats. And I was like, oh yeah, you can just drop it off. She's like, oh, okay. Like acting like that was a weird thing, like a weird request. I'm like, isn't that what you do all day? Are you here? Okay, yeah. I'm like spooked isn't by that. that. so weird? I need to know what she was thinking. I know. And, Are and, you and, here? and she was talking to me as if we were, had been friends forever. That's why I was saying like, did you did know her? Know me? No, no, I didn't know her at all. <laughs> it's like a long lost relative. Yeah, like, are you here? Like, what's up? Like, is this your rabbit? Why aren't you coming out? Like just weird vibes. I'm like, what? Just drop off the food. Yeah. Like I, we don't need to speak or no. ever see each other or know who each other is. Like, please. I don't need to see, talk. No, no, we don't need to socialize. That's why I'm ordering food in. Yes. My the bun, my bun is itchy, like right where my bun is. Have you ever had that? Your head? Yeah. Oh yeah. Not my bun. Yeah, yeah. My head is itching right where my bun is. <laughs> so I can't get to it. I hate that. It's bothering me so bad anyways. This podcast is sponsored by Squarespace. We love Squarespace so much here at the What We Said podcast. We've literally both used Squarespace for so many different of our side hustles or um, businesses, different things that we've sold. We've used Squarespace to make the websites and to sell those products. And it's always been so nice, so seamless, and it's so easy to make a beautiful website with Squarespace. Squarespace is the all-in-one website platform for entrepreneurs to stand out and succeed online. Whether you're just starting out or managing a growing brand, Squarespace makes it easy to create a beautiful website, engage with your audience, and sell anything from products to content to time, all in one place, all on your terms. They have so many different features which make just Squarespace elite, honestly. So you can sell custom merch um, on Squarespace. You can create passive income stream that engages your audience, scales your brand. You can design your products, production, inventory, and shipping. They're all handled for you. So that's saving you time, which is also saving you money. Um, we did our Balance Boss with Squarespace, which we sold merch for. We sold online um, courses with, which was just like a digital good. And Squarespace had all of those tools that we needed to sell online. You can easily collect email subscribers on your site, which is a great way to build connections and get repeat business through regular email updates. Um, they also make it really easy to look at your analytics, like when are you getting the most traffic or site visits? Um, what are they clicking on? All of those fun things that make it possible for you to scale and grow your business. So go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to www.squarespace.com slash what we said to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That is www.squarespace.com slash what we said. Go check it out. Um, yeah, that's anyway, bizarre. Just a random weird experience I had that I was like, okay. It wasn't like here? creepy, but it was just kind of like, I'm very Makes confused. you rethink everything. Yeah. I'm so, I literally thought I was missing something. Now that I'm, I'm in a house versus an apartment, I get so weirded out whenever my doorbell rings or like I get a knock on my door. Because when you're in an apartment, you never get people coming up to your house, like mm -hmm. solicitors or anything like that because you're in an apartment. And it makes me so annoyed, like beyond belief. And this is coming from someone who my husband literally made a living doing door-to-door -door sales. So like- I am nice to them and I always am like, you know, let them off easy. I'm not trying to be mean or anything. But the other day, Nick was gone and I just hear this. And, I, and then Sophie starts barking, of course. And um, Case was sleeping. He was napping. And I had Elwood and he was also asleep. Or I was feeding Elwood. And so I'm like sitting there. I'm like, did I order something? And they're like, is it a package? Like, mm -hmm. who's knocking on my door? And so I literally check all my friends' locations. I'm like, is it you? Is it Abby? Like, is Nick back or something? 
And then I just sit there and I wait. Literally like two minutes later. Absolutely I'm not. like, oh, okay. So scared. I'm getting robbed or, and I just heard this whole TikTok about this girl. Have you seen this? The girl who is a cat burglar or she was until no. she got caught. She was explaining how she um, would rob people. And her thing was, she was like, I would bang on the door and act like I knew them. Like I'd bang on the door, keep banging until someone would. And if no one answered, I would assume no one's home and I'd go around the back and start banging. Like she was just telling this whole thing about how she Hold was on, a did cat you say burglar. cat burglar? Cat burglar, yeah. Taking a cat? No, no, no. That's just what it, What does like, that mean? I've never heard of that. I think it either means a girl burglar or it's like someone who like doesn't hurt you, just goes into your house, like steals your like jewels and stuff. Goodbye. So honestly sounded kind of slay. <laughs> They'd be very disappointed in my house. She was talking about how, yeah, she literally broke it down and all the comments on the video. Oh, I wish I knew what it was so I could refer, like refer you guys to it because the comments on the video were so funny. It was like a, probably a 10 minute video. And it was her on a podcast talking about how she broke into these houses and she was all the comments were like the joy on her face when she's telling this. Like, so she's she ain't ready to give it up now. Like, yeah, she went to prison. Okay. She doesn't do it anymore. Okay, okay. But they're like, she's trying to get back in the game. <laughs> like the Loves joy on her it. face. She's like, I would do this, and then I would do this. Stop. Um. But anyway, so when he's banging on my door, I'm like, oh, so it's a cat burglar, like checking to see if someone's home, like trying to, what is it, case the house or like, um, what do they do when they're, they're trying to like, they knock on your door to see. I don't know. Just trying to see if someone's home. Casing the neighborhood. I don't know. Yeah. Something. Yeah. They, they're they seeing like inside your house to rob you later. Like they're like, oh, hi, I'm the whatever. Oh, sorry. Wrong house. But they just want to see what the inside looks like. So that they're like, okay, no. I know that when I walk in, there's a dog. Like, you know. <sighs> Bye. Scary. So I answered the door and he was like, and I had Elwood and I was just like, had the most annoyed face probably. Because I finally got up after feeding him, whatever. And I don't have um, a peephole. And I didn't want to open the window That's and sketchy. look. Yeah. That's sketchy not having the people. I know. And I didn't want to open the that. window and look because then he would see me. So I opened the door and it was just a salesperson. And I was like, hi. He's like, oh, you have a baby. I feel bad now. I'm like, like yeah, you should. You I'll didn't be. see the toys in the front of the house. You didn't notice that there's a, a double stroller. I mean, he probably didn't. But I'm just like, please never come back here. Yeah. Again. Like, shouldn't you, you know better? something? Yeah. Salesman? Yeah. That's annoying. I know. But also, it's okay. Just trying to make a living. I know it's I feel like in this day and age like any sort of knock Disturbance. At, knock at the door is just a jump scare yeah. I'm like why are you at my house yeah. like yeah. why is anyone bothering me yeah. I'm so confused without telling me yeah without warning yeah. like we're not in the like so shoot me a text yeah. I don't need to be and if you don't have my number yeah then also, why are you at my house I I respect and love delivery people um the mail people, not like food delivery or anything. People who bring packages. Like yeah, yeah, of course. UBS guy, FedEx guy, whatever. Or girl, whoever's delivering it. I respect and love them. They keep the, you know, world turning. But sometimes they do be getting a little crazy with their throws. Like I'll just be sitting on my couch and I'm sitting right next to my front door. It's like, boom. Like <laughs> they just throw the package. They're like, UBS. <laughs> You're like, oh my gosh. Good morning. The UBS. UBS. <laughs> <laughs> right on the door. I open it. It's like these new glasses I got. I'm like, thank you so true I feel like for the most part well also with the delivery the food delivery thing it's like <laughs> that impression of the UPS <laughs> so spot on I'm dying <laughs> UPS um, <laughs> the, I heard that so many times I feel like in my old house it would yeah. just they would do that they yeah. kind of like throw it um but <laughs> I feel like with the food delivery people it's like Okay, I respect you. I love that you're doing this service for me. I will tip you always. always. Amazing. Great. However, follow the instructions I have left you. <laughs> but, like, yeah. do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. They're always oh, like, I know what you mean. they'll call and just do weird stuff too, where I'm like, I literally gave you such specific, could not be clear, could not be clear yeah. about the instructions of what to do. Even when that girl was like, are you here? I'm like, I literally put on the thing like, Basically, it leave off. it, leave it here at, at this, this exact specific, location yeah, with door. all these, yes, with all these instructions. It's like, why are we talking on the yeah. phone? And that's part of the service that you're paying for. Yeah. It's so for I don't them to, to. <laughs> silently drop it off. So yeah. I don't have to interact with human <laughs> yeah. beings. I'm trying to be a hermit. Yeah. And same yeah. thing. It's like when you have a dog or when you have kids, it's like, 
I did that for a reason. Yeah. Like, I don't want my dog to bark. I don't want to go down the stairs. Whatever the case may be. It's like, yeah. drop it off. Yeah, I know. It's so funny. Um. Anyway, mm-hmm. well, there was my, that was my story for Update the day. your story. Yeah. Um, I'm going to need you to immediately watch Summer House. Like, really? I know I've been asking patiently, but like, I need you to do it for the sake of, um, our gossip because it's so good. Really? And they're, it's the reunion. Remind now. me how many seasons there By are. By now it's going to be completely done. Um, is it season 11 maybe? Oh. Season 10? Oh. You don't have to watch all of them. I started on season three mm-hmm. and then I just watched and binged the heck out of it. And it would kind Where of be on in the background. Set? Where is it? Um, the Hamptons. So they Ooh, all live okay. in New York City during the week. And then for the summer, they're all housemates on the weekends. Oh, cute. So they'll go to the Hamptons every weekend. And so it's like, just a saga of them living together. Like, okay, cool. Um, it's just so good. They have like, obviously some like OG people. Why is my shirt always undone? Um, <laughs> they have OG people. that have been like all the seasons, new people come on. The drama is always good. And this season is so good. There's like just new romance and ever, this guy's getting ripped to shreds and I just want to talk about it, but but we can't. Yeah. And well, at this I, point, it's so overdone. If you know, you know. It's like this guy named West pretty much has this rise and fall. He was like the favorite. And then at the reunion, he kind of like blew it because he was kind of dating. Anyways, I don't want to spoil anything for you if you okay. if you do watch it. But I'm about to have some show. more free time coming yeah. up. I haven't really had the the wherewithal to start a new show. Leif and I have been watching Bridgerton. Well, li- Love Island now. You got that. And I got that on my docket. You know what? You remember I was telling you there was like so much sex in Bridgerton. I was like, oh my gosh, there's like. Yeah. It was only the first season because now in the second season, I don't think there's been one single oh, really? scene. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. They were just starting off with a bang. <laughs> Literally. No pun intended. Yeah. Um, but hmm. yeah. I don't know what the. And I think season three just came out recently. I don't know if there is in that one. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Anyway. Hmm. Interesting. I do love Bridgerton though. Yeah, I need to. I think I watched a couple episodes of the first season, but I don't. I don't think I got too far. Yeah, it's good. I yeah. mean, it's like just I love like the visuals and the music and the yeah, vibes, the music's you know? so good. It's it's cool. It's fun. Um, yeah, when you're if you're I don't know because I've only breastfed, so if maybe if you are like feeding from a bottle or something like that, maybe you're not having as much downtime. But in those first couple weeks or like even months. You are breastfeeding or just feeding your kid, your baby so much. You're just always like on the couch. Yeah. And it's like for 15, 20 minutes that you're doing it. So, and that's every two hours. Yeah. So you're just always either on your bed in a comfy chair or on, you know, your couch. So you're like just well, sitting there. Yeah. And it's, it's better to honestly watch TV sometimes than I would be because, or either that or my phone. Right. Because I'm like, okay, well, I'm just sitting here for 15 minutes. I can't go do anything. Yeah. So. And True. I'm not looking or talking to him, so I would just Need watch. Something to distract yeah. you. I was telling TV life on our on our road trip. I was like, honestly, when I try, because I was trying not to be like on my phone on the road trip. I mean, for many reasons, I didn't want to be like nauseous, like looking yes. at it. But also, I don't know. Just wanted to like hang out with Leif and talk. And when we were talking, it would be fine. But like, there'd be times when we would just like be like silent or like listening to music, and I'm like. I unfortunately need to be stimulated 24 yeah. seven when I'm uncomfortable specifically. Yeah. Not that you're uncomfortable in your breastfeeding, yeah. but like, but otherwise of. it's just like, I am just thinking about how uncomfortable yeah. I feel. And I'm like, when I'm on my phone or when we're talking about something and we're like in a conversation, yeah. I kind of can forget that I'm like so uncomfortable, but yeah. if I'm not like, it is all that is on my mind. No, for sure. And that's it. You can't you move either. You're like trying to hold, especially the first couple weeks. They're so tiny that like you're trying to make sure the latch is staying good the whole time. When they get a little older, it's like they're a little easier to like, they can hold their latch more, but you're just like holding them in such a specific situation, like specific position for 15 minutes. And you're like, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You want to, you want to maybe be distracted yeah. a little mm-hmm. bit at some point. Yeah. Exactly. I feel that. And really they're like you were saying a couple weeks ago, I think how there's really no other time in your life. That's like that, where it's like you have no work to do. Yeah. You have nothing to do besides yeah. just make sure the baby's good. Mm-hmm. So, so why not? Why not? We are going to jump into an ad to talk about rocket money. If you are wanting to save money this year, this summer, 
then Rocket Money is for you. I've been using Rocket Money for years now, and it has helped me so much. I will be the first to admit I'm not the most organized when it comes to keeping track of my subscriptions. <laughs> I will sign up for something or even a free trial of something, forget. And then I check my email. It's like, oh, you were charged for this or charged for this. And Rocket Money has helped me so much. Just narrow it down, get rid of um, any subscriptions I was forgetting about or even paying twice for. I was paying twice for a couple things and that was not good for my bank account. Um, so Rocket Money has been a huge, 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 huge help. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps lower your bills so that you can grow your savings. It's also really nice to know what's coming up in the next month. It will tell you that. Like, okay, this is coming up soon. You're paying for this. Um, and it's just really nice. With Rocket Money, you can have full control over your subscriptions and a clear view of your expenses. It's really nice because the dashboard just shows you like your month's spending compared to last month. So you can clearly see your spending habits, which is very very eye-opening and important if you're trying to be, you know, financially responsible and know where your money's going and how much you're saving and stuff. Plus, they can help you create a custom budget and keep your spending on track. Rocket Money has over 5 million users and has saved a total of $500 million in canceled subscriptions, which is insane, saving members up to $740 a year when using all the app's features. So stop wasting money on things you don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash what we said. That's rocketmoney.com slash what we said rocketmoney.com slash what we said. Yeah. If there's a show you want to binge, I mean, you don't have to watch somewhere else, but if there's a show you want to like binge or start, then I was like, the time. I got to a point where I was looking for stuff. I was like, what can I start? What like else? I finished Summer House. What can I yeah. watch now? That's I feel like there's rare. so many shows that I could start. I have like a list yeah. on my phone of ones that people have like told me and whatever. Oh, yeah. And I feel like the options are limitless. I, I got lots of things I could start binging. Yeah. So I'm excited. It'll yeah. Be fun. It'll be fun. Um, do you have anything else no. you wanted to chat about? Let no. me see if I had any more updates. I don't think I did. Nope. <laughs> Let me see. Let me check my calendar. Let me check. Nope. nope. Absolutely nothing Just going on in my up. life. Um, okay. Here are the accidental text stories. I don't have any new and improved ones. I wish I did. I know. Because we've done this topic a few times. So we've already shared anything that we have personally gone through or any like, you know, friends stories or anything. Probably because we are so careful now. At least I am. Oh. Like if anything is semi sketch, I'm checking. My phone I'm is checking on the opposite twice. side of I'm the I'm making room. a list and I'm checking it twice. And if I'm, I'm like talking about something that I don't want someone else to hear, literally phone locked, do yes. not disturb yes. on the other side of this couch. Like yes. I'm not going to be like doing something willy nilly on my phone while I'm. No spilling tea and if it's something I'm gonna send an accidental voice message yes and if it's something I really need to talk to someone about that has to do with someone else I will make a phone call to, so it's not on record or not accidental or a voice memo but I I literally have to make sure a million times who I'm going yes to. yes yes especially if there's like someone else's mm -hmm. yeah it's terrifying I actually almost did a kind of a bad accidental text it was it's not it wasn't like mean or gossipy at all but it was just kind of like, it would have been awkward. And um, it, oh, was, no. it was a text that I was sending to you. I can't talk about it on the podcast because yeah. it's- <laughs> About it's, someone else and you almost sent it to them. It's about someone else kind of, but again, it wasn't a mean thing. It was more just like, it would have been just kind of like, hmm, it's kind of yeah. weird yeah. and awkward. But yeah, it was about someone else and I was like telling you something and then- Sorry, I'm being so annoying. I just can't talk about it. <laughs> and so I thought I sent it to that person. And oh. I was like, oh, that was kind of like awkward. That would just be awkward. Like I would be able to Even be like, oh, not, well, like, cause it wasn't yeah. something so bad, but I was like, I'm so glad I did not actually send that. Even if it's not something bad or mean or anything like that, even if it's just like a fact about someone yeah. else, it just feels weird to if you send to someone else because they know that you were talking about yeah, them. Yeah, you're like perceiving them in some way. Yeah. Honestly, even if it's like good or, you know, yeah. oh, nice. It's like, it's still weird that you're like talking. I don't maybe, know. Just maybe I can perceived. say, actually, maybe I can say what it kind of was. Actually, okay. it was, it was me texting you something saying, I'm on my way to do this and it's probably going to take forever. LOL. Oh, oh, oh yeah. yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because it's like with a specific person. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, it's probably gonna take forever. Yeah. And I almost sent it to that person. Oh, I'm screaming. And so it's like, they would have been like, yeah. Okay. Like it's probably gonna take forever. Like you're yeah. annoyed by that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. 100%. Which it's like, that's not like that's funny. something mean. It's just kind of like, yeah. Kind of awkward. 
I get that. Anyway, luckily nice. I didn't. I, I always, in terms of life updates, like my dilemma is always, I don't want to, this is the dilemma of just everyone. I feel like I don't want to ever share too much about my kids. And I also don't want this to turn into a parenting podcast of just like my kids. I, but I also don't want people to think I don't, I'm never with my kids. You know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. it's like, I'm like, oh, should I ever, should I share funny things about like Case or Elwood? And then I'm like, no, I don't want to like talk about them too much or like share, you know, over expose anything. So just yeah. know that I do spend a lot of time with my kids and they're, they're great. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but <laughs> I feel that I'm like, I did nothing all it's, week. No, it's hard because it's like, yeah, I, I've been thinking about that even just with gonna, you know, have, have her soon. It's like, you don't want, I think there are certain people, I don't know. I don't want this to turn into a parenting podcast yeah. personally. Like yeah. I don't even want that. No. Um, or talking about that 24 seven. Which like we do this to get away from that. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's like we do this to have girl talk and have it be mm -hmm. fun. And sure. Sometimes that includes like our life, our life obviously. And like topics or funny stories. So I'm sure that will be included, but I feel the same way. It's like, I don't want it to turn into like, I don't know. Yeah. That's all we talk about. But no. at the same time, when it's what you're going through. I mean, I felt like that even with pregnancy, which I was going to say, I've gotten such mixed, like I've gotten messages of people being like, okay, we get it. You're pregnant. Like basically being like, you know, so, some, Bye. some girl, <laughs> some girl uh, commented on my YouTube video. When you worked so She's hard. Like, I know. To get here. But she, GTFO. Was, she was saying something about how. She's like, um, I'm loving that you're pregnant. Like, I'm happy you got pregnant. But like, what I'm not loving is seeing your stomach all the time. Like, we get it. Why are people so effing weird about that? And I'm like, okay, number one. That's my so baby. should I literally just film from like shoulder up? Like, is that what we're focusing on? Like, basically, you don't want to know that I'm pregnant. Like, it, okay. I was actually thinking about the fact that like any photo I take or post on Instagram at this point, it's not even me being like, I'm pregnant, but it's like, okay, the stomach is out. Like, yeah. so you can tell that I'm it. pregnant. Like I, I was thinking about how this one picture I posted, it's like, I would have taken that same picture not being pregnant. And mm -hmm. it just would have been like normal, a picture of me like holding a coffee. But then like, cause I'm pregnant, it kind of yeah. looks like it's like a pregnancy picture because literally there's You're no pregnant. other option because my stomach is out. Yeah. It's like, and, is she showing her boobs or does she have boobs? Is she yeah, showing yeah. off she's pregnant or is she pregnant? Yeah. She's just pregnant. And what do you want her to do? Like, yeah. So she was like, she said something. She's like, what I'm not loving is your stomach. What like, I'm not loving. Um, she's like, we get it. You're pregnant. And I was like, okay. First of all, you're blocked from yeah, my channel. Yeah, that's so annoying. Uh, but number two, it's like, wait, what was, where was I going with that? I forgot like what I was. Oh, and then someone else DM me. And she was like, basically saying how disappointed in like the lack of pregnancy content. Like she was like, you never like. I thought you were going to share like so much of your pregnancy and like, you know, all these like yeah. updates and like you barely share anything. And I'm like, wait, what? I, so basically Am someone, I someone was like, we little? get it. Yeah. And then someone else was like, you'd never talk about it. I was like, I feel like I talk about it. Maybe on the podcast, I talk about it a lot more. Yeah. Like, I always like feel like I should talk about it less, but then people are like, you never post like bump yeah. pictures or like any updates. And I'm like, I've just been so busy. Honestly, I can't do it all. Yeah. And I have so many different like channels to focus on, but I, yeah, I was kind of just thinking that same thought. It's like, okay, so I literally can't do it right either way because yeah. people are like, we get it. And then other people are like, you've shown nothing. Like, yeah. you showed your whole story and then just like nothing while you've been pregnant. I'm like, uh, what? I feel like, yeah. I don't know. You can't I do the, the perfect amount for exactly. anyone, you know? Like, know. it's always just going to be what, you got to do what you got to do. I know. And, well, with the pregnancy thing, well, for you, it's even more different. It's like, you can do whatever you want being pregnant Thank because you. you worked so hard to get here. Mm -hmm. And so if you want to complain, if you want to talk about it as much as you want, if you never want to talk about it, it's like, do whatever you want. But also in defense of talking about it too much, like, I feel like I talk about it all the time because when it, when I am pregnant, it's literally all I think about. So then I'm like, just talking about it all the time. Yeah, life update. Yeah. There's, it's not much else other than, especially when you get towards the end, it's like, yeah, there's not much else besides I'm prepping for this. My I'm symptoms. feeling this, my <laughs> symptoms, I'm puffy. Like there's nothing else to even chat about. Yeah. And it's. In our defense, it is the such a big life change mm -hmm. and so all consuming. And also it's such a short amount of time in the long scheme of things. Like, mm -hmm. okay, so I'm talking about being pregnant for nine months. 
get over it. Like we've been doing this for six years. So if nine months of it, we're talking about uh, our life updates, uh, you know, have they involve that. Yeah, yeah. It's just like, okay, then we'll not be pregnant. And I feel like once I'm not pregnant anymore, like because you're pregnant, I talk about it, but then I forget that I was even pregnant. Right. So it's like, right. Then you it's can over. deal with it for the amount of time. You only know about it for like six months Yeah, because usually people don't share for three months. It's like, well, and personally, I feel like if I just like someone, I just like what they're sharing. Yeah. I don't really care what it is. Like if I like a specific person, uh, influencer, like whatever life stage they're in, I'm like, yeah. great, give it to me. Yeah. Unless, and if I don't relate to it, then like I won't listen or I don't care about it. But it's like, even if I, I don't I relate, sometimes it's like, it's fun. It, again, yeah, it's just a different, not everything that you consume has to be exactly matching up with your life all the time. Yeah. I think it's fun to, you know, you're different. But yeah. I get true. not wanting like that's all the episode is. Yeah. But. All that being said, I do understand like if we were to just talk about it, Twenty four seven, and never, you know, even do our funny like stories and stuff. It's like, okay, well, now we've kind of lost the plot of what the podcast is, which is just like fun girl talk to escape things, not like parenting yeah. advice or yeah. something. So, if our life updates are ten minutes longer because we talk about being swollen or birth or yeah, like the biggest change in our life, something you've been working years for, like yeah, we we're can gonna t- talk we can about, chat it. about it. We yeah, can chat about it. It's always fun to go shopping for a new season, whether you have some events to go to, if you have some summer date nights or, you know, maybe a birthday party or any sort of event. And Lulu's is the place to go, you guys. I've been wearing a lot of Lulu's lately the past few months. And a lot of the outfits that um, I've been wearing in the end of my pregnancy that people have been asking me for are Lulu's. And I love them so much. They have so many different options for all sorts of different events. Like I said, you know, maybe more casual stuff for brunches. And they have more fancy stuff. I was actually looking at their website for my baby shower and stuff. So they have a lot of different options. Lulu's is feminine. So they are unapologetically feminine, pretty, sexy, beautiful, flirty. They're here for all of it. And it is women run and founded. They celebrate all women, which we absolutely love. I have a lot of friends that have great style that also shop at Lulu's a lot. Um, I was just at dinner with my friend the other night and I was like, where is that top from? I love it. And she told me it was from Lulu's. So they really have it all. They also have a lot of cute accessories. I've gotten some cute um, like statement earrings that I wore in some recent content that people are asking about. Some like flower ones and some big chunky gold hoops. And they're a good price too, which is awesome. Lulu's has amazing quality for the price. So um, like JC said, if you have some event coming up or maybe if you have a summer trip coming up and you need a couple different outfits, definitely check out Lulu's. I will say every time you post something on your um, Instagram story and I'll be like, I want that top. Like, where's that top from? The next slide will be like linked to Lulu's and they really just have so many cute stuff. So go to lulus.com and use the code what we said at checkout for 20% off your first purchase. That's L-U-L-U-S.com and code what we said for 20% off your first order. New customers only terms apply. Um, I just thought of like a piece of tea that I just like had the urge to drop. Ooh, like I have never, it's, it's been for so long. Um, and I just had this like urge to word vomit the fact okay. that I am blocked by a very big influencer. You know who it is. And I influencers, influencers, okay. if you will, Okay, then I know a joint page. I, ha- I am blocked. I've been blocked for a while, probably like a year by them. Mm-hmm. And the longer that it goes, like initially I was kind of like, oh, it's kind of like, I was kind of shocked by it. I was like, yeah. oh, okay. Cause like we kind of have mutual people that like I know of that are friends with them, whatever. Yeah. But the longer that this goes on, I'm thinking of it, of it honestly as like a flex. Yeah. I'm like, okay, so we obviously have nothing in common and you don't like my vibe, which is like a good thing. I think that's a good thing at this point. Yeah. Um, but it's Matt and Abby. Oh, you're they, sharing who it is. Oh care. my gosh. Wow. Slay. They love the have tea. me blocked you guys. And I kind of get why, like in their defense, it was because I had made a video basically like <laughs> direct tweeting response, them, yeah. direct, directly talking about one of their videos. It was one of their videos of, um, him, whatever, being like, I let my wife go to the gym or something. I don't want to, allegedly. It was something to that effect. It was like a year ago. It was like, she said she wanted to go to the gym. So I decided to like clean up and like, yeah. like, okay, congratulations. Like that, my video was basically, and he didn't know where anything went or anything. And my point was just like, 
And better. she also, yeah, do better. And she also, like, makes money. Like, she works. Yeah, they're like, we have traditional an roles. And so it's like, okay, so she works and she, oh, amazing. You let her go to the gym one day and you, like, cleaned up. Like, that's not something that we should be. That's nice, but that's not something that a girl would ever get celebrated for. Yeah. If she made a video and said, my husband wanted to go to the gym, so I decided to do the dishes. It would be like, oh, yeah, that's a normal thing to do. But since it was rehearsed, and that was just my point, is like, you know, what the whole, like, I watched the kids for her. It's like, so you were a yeah. parent. Like, that's not, why are we celebrating? You're not a babysitter. Yeah, yeah. Why are we celebrating this? So, anyway, I had, like, made a video kind of saying something like that. Because he maybe said something about like daddy duty or something. Maybe. I don't remember. It was something oh, no, like that. Either. That was the concept. And I was just like giving my two cents on it. And um, which I rarely even do. It's kind of like, kind of surprised I even did that. I'm, like, I'm kind of insane and problematic. <laughs> um, Drama channel alert. <laughs> but I had made a video. I didn't even think they'd see it. We don't follow each other or anything. And then I was blocked. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. And I've been blocked ever since, but. I mean, not crazy that they would block you, but crazy that they would see it and then, you know, or maybe got scented or something. Yeah. Know. Yeah. So anyway, I always feel kind of awkward about that because like I don't have beef with anyone. Like yeah. as far as influencers or online, like I've never had any sort of. You're like unfollowing. Yeah. Like scandal or like, oh, these people unfollowed each other. Like I just never. Yeah. So I guess that's my, that's my beef. That's my one-sided beef. Exciting. Kind of cool. Yeah. No. But I think as more clips have come out, like, of just their podcast, I'm like, we, we do not see eye to eye. No. So maybe yeah. it's for the best. You know, I have a theory because I've been seeing a couple of their clips too. Like, I have a theory that they know what's going to make people mad. And, and they what's just gonna, do it for the clout. And they just do it for, because they get so many views when they do. Like, they make it to my For You page of like, you know, just when he says something, just... <laughs> Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. Where you, like, they have to know. That's what you're clipping. It's not even just like, oh, they happen right, to say it on right. an hour-long podcast. That's what you're clipping and you're putting on. You have to know. That that's, like, going to get attention. Yeah. Yeah. Which. Like, you're, you clipped the part where you guys said that you weren't attracted to each other. And he was, like, same. Like, you you picked that part to clip. Like, you just, you knew. You right, knew that right. was going to get people mad. Mm-hmm. You know that that's what. Do, maybe. Maybe. Maybe I'm giving him too much credit, but I don't know. I actually don't know if I think that they know it'll get a rise, but to me, I don't know. But maybe on they're not hand, saying it. On one hand, I see that that's marketing, right? It's like yeah. I see from a business perspective that it's smart to like create drama and like create what's it called, like rage baiting. Yeah, like I understand that concept completely. And it's like, okay, so then the more people are going to listen to their podcast, they're going to make more money. Like mm -hmm. I understand that from a business perspective. To me, though, certain channels like that and clickbait like that, oh, I don't even want to like, I, I don't know if I should get into all this. It's not as respectable to me and it's a very cheap way to, I think, to get engagement and to get money and a following. Yeah. Like, I guess more power to you if that's your thing. And like, sure, we'll use clickbait in certain ways, I guess. Yeah, I love clickbait. But it's... I guess it feels like you're, which again is completely your choice, but you're using it at, at the expense of like your own, like you're exploiting your own relationship. Yeah. That's like your marriage, like yeah. your most like sacred relationship for this more no, clickbait true. thing over and over. And I feel like that's not as, that's a cheap way to get um, views and engagement, yeah. just like it is with um certain channels like family channels that exploit their kids a lot mm -hmm. to me it's not as respectable because you know you're gonna you get views know you're it. gonna get views and you're utilizing again something very sacred in your life your child to get more views and get money and I don't know yeah that's a very fine line I like never really speak on like any of that stuff because I feel like first of all you don't know what goes on behind the scenes. Yeah, and you don't ever want to like judge people because they also, sometimes it feels like they might not, not that they don't like know better, but it's like, oh, what? It's like innocent to them. It's like, what? Yeah. I'm just sharing this cute video of my kid. But sometimes when I feel like these influencers get to a point, they have millions and millions of followers. It's yeah. like, you know what you're doing. Yeah, like, and they get, they know they get so many videos You know you're doing these fake pranks. Mm -hmm. You know you're tricking people. 
You know yeah. you're exploiting your relationship and your kids. You know exactly what you're doing because you know you'll get more views and you yeah. know it's money. And to me, that's just not, do you know what I mean when I say cheap? Yeah. It's like I could right now, and I actually have before. I have, I feel like, done more clickbaity exploitative things in the past, like years ago. Mm-hmm. And I don't, like, those are regrets yeah. that I have. Like, yeah. I don't look back at that. I think that it was a cheap way to get yeah. engagement. Yeah. I, think that there was no real strategy and talent behind it besides yeah it's gonna be I we can make a video tv yeah Yeah. we can make a video right now yeah and and make it like I have plenty of ideas of things we could do that would be shocking that would get a lot of views but it's not I know respectable yeah I get that I feel the same way too about like when you first, or when I first got on social media, like doing certain YouTube videos or just like postings or writing about di- different things, I'm just like, I think at the beginning, I didn't know the extent. So that's what, like what you're kind of saying, like the innocence of it. But then it's like, oh yeah, this is going to get engagement and it's fun and it's good and I'm opening up. And then now looking back because the internet seems so much bigger now and just so much scarier, I'm like, I don't want any of that out there. I wish I could take it back. I mm-hmm. wish I could just like keep that stuff to myself. Yeah. You know, and I think whatever. I think some of these people are like newer on the scene to give them a little bit of credit. I don't know about, I actually have no idea how long they've been doing social media or like, but I can think of certain people where it's like they've yeah. been doing it for a few years and I don't know. I don't know whether to give them credit or not and be like, oh, maybe they're innocently yeah. like, you know, they just see it's like, oh, well we're providing for our family and like, yeah. So what? Yeah. And we're comfortable sharing it. It's like, I guess, but mm, I, don't I know. know. Like nowadays, though, I think it's harder to excuse than like even years ago. Like it just seems so much more different with TikTok and Instagram reels yeah. and how you can see other people's content so easily versus before. It was kind of just like you felt like you're putting it out to people that were already following you. You didn't really feel like, okay, this is like going out to the masses, the masses. you know, but. I feel like nowadays people know way better. Like even if they someone were to start a kids channel today, it's like I was actually talking about one of my friends who is not an influencer at all. And she was saying, if I know about the dangers of kids on social media, these influencers should know about the like dangers right. of like exploiting your children on social media right. and stuff. But yeah. I don't know. That's a very big conversation. That's a and huge it's like, conversation. And it's hard to talk about too, because like even with me having a kid, it's like, I have no idea what I'll be comfortable yeah. sharing of her. And I have been careful actually to not like, uh, what's the word? Say. Say either way. Like, cause I don't know. I yeah. don't know how I'm going to feel like when she's yeah. here and, and there are certain things where I'm like, oh, that would probably be fine. Like to show, you know, a photo and stuff like uh, whatever but I don't want to promise either, either way. way. Like I'm going to share so much of my journey or like yeah. I will not be showing one ounce. And then people are like expecting or they hold, because also I've had friends who do that and they regret it. They're yeah. like, I'm not going to show a photo. And then people are like, so they curious. see like a, yeah, they're so curious. They see like a glimpse and they're like, oh, you showed it like, and it's just like, okay. Or it's, they'll look extra hard for a photo because yeah, they exactly. want to see because they just want to like get the glimpse and of them. they dig and it actually makes it worse. But yeah. then it's like some people will show too, whatever, whatever. Yeah. So it's like, you got to do you. And to actually to have Matt and Abby's credit, I don't think they really show their kids. Yeah, they don't. Which I do. I, I respect like that they're not exploiting that. It, better to exploit your adult yeah. relationship than mm-hmm. like of two consenting child. adults. Yeah. yeah. So exactly. for, for that, I guess. I know. And then it gets whatever. into the conversation. Oh, I think Have this we even is, read the stories? Uh, no, no, I think this is the whole episode now. Okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We should still read them, right? Yeah. Because I was about to go into a whole other something of well, another conversation. I want to hear it though. Well, I was just going to say, it also goes into, it, it really is kind of a messy area. It gets a little gray, but I do feel like there is a line of like exploitation where it's like, before you get to that line, it is a little bit of like, okay, I don't know what is, can be used against them. I don't know what's, you know, appropriate to share what's not appropriate to share but I feel like everyone has especially if you're a parent you have an intuition of what Mm -hmm. is too far you know what I mean Mm -hmm. where it's like there are certain accounts that are like okay maybe they could be a little better but like it's not feeling it's not feeling exploited yeah like that you get I think yeah there are certain yeah people everyone has different opinions about it but for sure I feel like there are certain people who I follow who share their kids and like it doesn't come across to me as, yeah. as 
exploitative of what they're <sighs> making their money from. Right. I yeah. I've always said like to me a, a line or like something that I think is um I don't know. I don't know if I would call it a line, but basically if you are making your main income off of your child, mm-hmm. that to me is like exploiting exploiting them. Yeah. If you if your child disappeared tomorrow and you're going to make the same amount of money, yeah. That's different. Yeah. There's also the whole conversation of just like them being on the internet in general because yeah. the internet can be scary. But I think the mm-hmm. money thing is very like that's where you know, I, I know certain people where it's like they make amazing money as influencers and they'll show photos or videos of their kids here and there. But like at the end of the yeah. day, their kids aren't making them any money. Yeah. That has nothing to do with the money that they make. Like, mm-hmm. um, but some people, they get their following from showing their kids. Yeah. And then if their kids did not exist in their content, they would, they no would literally make no money. Mm-hmm. Which is like, that's when you know you are quite literally relying on your child yeah. to make money. And that's when it gives like Disney Channel a star. Yes. Because it's like, okay, your kid is literally making your income for your you. Your livelihood. Your, that's your livelihood. Yeah, for sure. I know. There is so many, um, yeah, like concerns <laughs> in terms of children on the internet because it's like, yeah, the safety AI, who knows what they can do with AI these days. Like that's a, you know big thing that's what my friend was talking to me about like their voices their faces like different Mm, things and it's like I totally get that like I I feel like when I don't know it's like I don't I don't even I don't know I'm not the perfect example by any means like I feel like I try and do my best but um it's like to me I'm like oh when they're little babies it's like okay if they see like their face it's not like or you know they don't have like personalities to exploit or like you're not posting so much of them like Mm -hmm. every feature of them yeah but then when they get older, it's like less and less and less to me, at least. Like, I feel like case I show like maybe a video or two, like from the back or something like that. But I don't even really like showing him talking or like, you know, certain things because I'm just, well, just don't want any too recognizable. Where it's like, I, I even hesitate sharing what he likes, you know? Yeah. It's really hard. It's, it's hard. It's, it's hard. So and hard. even like with, because you want to share them. They're so cute. Yeah. And, you, and all my friends and family, like. I mean, I'll share a lot of stuff to my close friends, but even sometimes I'm like, should I even be sharing to my close friends? I don't know what the internet is doing. No, no, it is. And, and you obviously want to protect them. And it's, it just sucks that there are weird people like in the world. Because I, I always think about that. It's like, if if you just knew it was going out to like all normal, super nice, like fun, cute. Yeah. <laughs> Valley girls. It's like, oh, yeah. I would love to show you like so much stuff. Yeah, but it's exactly. like, it just kind of ruins it mm-hmm. when you know that people are weird yeah and it it sucks too because even with my pregnancy like people have been I never shared my due date I never shared how far along I was and it wasn't because it's like this huge secret like it literally but I was telling Leif the other day I'm like I'm so glad that I did that because I didn't get any comment like you have to share what you're comfortable people commenting on and I did not the reason I did not share is because a lot of my friends who have been influencers done the whole pregnancy thing have been like oh I really regretted sharing my due date because yeah. people were like me being oh one of did them. you like yeah <laughs> yeah did you have the baby yet oh you're getting close and like they just knew so much information mm-hmm. and they were constantly yeah like on baby watch being like is everything okay mm-hmm. and it's probably from great intentions but it's just like a little bit stressful and so a lot of my friends were like oh I like I'm not going to share my due date next time so I'm like okay I'm clocking that I'm like mm-hmm. I probably won't share just because like that's good that's good information to get and then I was thinking like I have shared a lot of my IVF journey. I've shared getting pregnant, but I don't want people to know the exact amount of weeks I am because literally only for the reason I don't want comments. Oh, you're so small for that amount. Mm -hmm. Are you growing enough? Opposite. Oh my gosh, you're only that far along. Like you're so much bigger than I was. Like I didn't want any comments on my body about the type, the weeks that I was or anything like that. And I feel like it's the same with kids. I'm assuming it's like, if you don't want comments on, Oh, he's walking already. Oh, he's not yeah. walking. Oh, he's eating that. It's like, then just don't yeah. share it. And and it sucks that it has to be that way. But yeah. it's just like, you're going to get comments on anything you share. Mm-hmm. So you just have to like be ready for that. Yeah, I know. It's so sad because my kids are so cute, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> like, I know. But I know. it really is. It's just like, dang, I wish that we could keep everything so secure i wish we could just take the the nice valley girls and just have a big like i know our own social media i know but we can't 
I know. It's, That's unfortunate. I wasn't expecting to go down all that whole rabbit yeah, hole. Yeah, but people are, I think people are very respectful though. Like I've never, sure. yeah, of people, they like when people respect their kids. Well, I was going to say like yeah. normal people are yeah. like, yeah, that makes sense. And mm-hmm. like, you need to do you. Yeah. I would never be like, <laughs> show me more of them it's like that's not your place to be you know of other kids Mm -hmm. like people who are demanding of that I feel like are very weird it's like you shouldn't be desperate to see someone's kids and want to know all this information about them like just let them be Mm -hmm. we are going to jump into an ad to talk about clean simple eats you guys already know that we love clean simple eats it's really great all year round to get in some good protein I personally love a smoothie or a shake at all times of the year. Um, But depending on the seasons, I go for different flavors. So for summer, spring, I like more of a tropical light. I like my vanilla protein powders, maybe something um, like a mint or coconut or something a little more green. And Clean Simple Eats has so many flavors for that. So I love their coconut cream specifically protein powder or their Simply Vanilla one, which is just, you know, classic go-to. But they also have a mint chocolate cookie flavor that I feel is so good for a summer treat. They also have their classic chocolate brownie batter, which is just so creamy, so good. You can make with fruits. You can make it with peanut butter. You can make it with, you know, just plain milk. And it's pretty much good no matter what. Their protein powder is so incredibly creamy and smooth with no chalky texture, which is so amazing. I freaking hate when I have a protein shake and it's super, super chalky and just nasty in my mouth. The texture is everything. So that's why Clean Simple Eats is elite. We love Clean Simple Eats because they are just that clean and simple. Their protein powder is always grass-fed with no seed oils or artificial ingredients. It's third-party tested, non-GMO, and gluten-free. We all know how important protein is in our diet, and Clean Simple Eats is the most delicious and the best way to do this. Each serving has 20 grams of protein, making it the perfect addition to make sure you are getting enough protein in your diet. And it's just the best way to elevate your daily shake or daily smoothie. Go try one of their many different flavors. Go on their website, look at what, you know, calls to you in your palate. Um, but they really have so many choices for you. So you can Go to cleansimpleeats.com and use the code what we said 10 at checkout for 10% off your order. That's cleansimpleeats.com, code what we said for 10% off your order. Go check it out. It'll be linked in the show notes for you guys. Okay. I promise we were, that was not on the plans at all to talk about all of that. But when the conversation's flow and it's flowing, we still want to read these text message stories. We were just saying, should we like not even read them this time and do a different episode? But I really want to read them. I know. Because I'm going on maternity leave soon. And I want yeah. to, So we're going to read them. They're not even super long. We can, um, I we feel can like, power through. And I have so much to say about that. That could be a whole conversation, especially after you have your baby. I feel like it's like- For sure. We could, we'll probably talk about that a million other times. So. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Was very drunk and texted my dad. I'm about to F my boyfriend. Safe to say it was very awkward the next morning. Why did you R- do that? I- <laughs> what? Did you mean to text someone else? I don't think so. so it just seemed like she just wanted to like get it crazy. out. She just wanted to be crazy. I feel like maybe her girl. dad doesn't like her boyfriend, or maybe they got in like a fight, and she's just like, "I'm gonna get back at my dad and be like, I'm gonna f my boyfriend." <gasps> oh my gosh, that is mortifying. Me. If I message my dad. That- I would, I would not be able to look, my name. I would not be able to look Cliff in the country. eyes for centuries. Years. That's beyond. Oh no, no, no. Texting my sister about how annoying my stepmom is only to send it to my stepmom <gasps> who's sitting right next to me. Oh. I, I, I. You know what? Sitting next to them is <laughs> crazy. Your heart would drop into your butthole. Because you're just like, you have to face it immediately yeah. too. At least when you're you're not. over. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. That is so awkward. No, that's horrible. What if I just, oh man, I I just thought of something funny to do during this episode. Like I should pretend to, that I was texting Nick, like this episode's so boring. Like JC, JC will is, not <laughs> shut up. JC is saying the not funny stuff and then I said it to you on accident. My heart would drop. So funny. I'm on do not, do not disturb though, so oh. I wouldn't get it. Dang. Um... Yeah, sitting next to someone, I I can't even fathom because at least you don't have to live with your consequences immediately. When you send an accidental text, you're like, oh, great. They're going to see it. But now you can 
edit. Can you? Well, you, you can, can edit, but you can edits. see the edits. Yeah. But can you unsend a message when, on like? I think you can actually. Really? I'm gonna try it to you. I'm gonna say hi, and then I'm gonna un- try and unsend it. Undo send. Tell me if it ever. Oh, it just it's poofed gone. away. It just poofed away. It's gone. But did you see it initially? Yeah. But now, if you go, you can't see it. But it says JC unsent a message, which is fine. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Well, that's a great feature. That's better than them not knowing. Okay, sorry. I have like a my jeans. <laughs> Wait, don't don't open it yet. I'm gonna send you another one. Okay. And like, don't look at it. Okay. And then I'm gonna unsend it. Okay, so it delivered. Now I'm yeah, undo I'm sending. Lock my phone. Okay, undo sent. All right, I undid it. I have no notification. <gasps> hack. That's really nice. Lifetime hack. And then it says that you unsent a message. That's it. Wow, That's you guys. That's really nice. IPhone just, Apple just sent, Apple just got rid of our job. We're going to lose me job. We can't do these episodes anymore. Because people are going to be able to unsend their messages. I wonder how fast it like poofs. Like I wonder if, if someone was like in the middle of reading it and then it unsent, if it would be like gone forever. Yeah, send, just, like, send me away. one. Well, let me, let me re- do like a bit of a longer message. Just gets all my feelings. I'm like, hey, you look <laughs> so. <laughs> let me just send something. Just kidding. Um, I'm just going to literally just do a bunch of random words and, and okay. letters. Oh, JC's typing. Oh, hi. You look so Jekyll. <laughs> Hold on, freak! I'm sorry. I'm trying to unsend it. Oh my gosh! Did I- it went away right away? Okay. Well, that's a hack, you guys. That if is you, a hack. If hack of a lifetime. You sent it. You can immediately unsend. Don't try and edit it because yeah. edit they can see what you originally said. Yeah. Just, Just unsend un- it, and you'll come up with something later. You know the old uh, air. Uh, what's it? Airplane mode trick, but. That no, only you don't works. Need that. that only works if it's like sending, and you put it in airplane mode while it's sending, because yeah. then it won't go through. But if it already delivered, you're screwed. So yeah. you got to undo the send. My father-in-law accidentally sent nudes to my husband. Sorry, <laughs> no. My husband ignored it and deleted the text, and they've just pretended it never happened. So his own father sent him nudes. My father-in-law accidentally sent nudes to my husband. If if Nick got nudes <laughs> from his dad, like, what do you do? What do you do? I'm rarely speechless. If y- if your parents are still married, well, then it's the question of who's he sending them to. You know, hopefully it's to your mom. But it's like, if your dad's single, <laughs> he's getting nudes. That would be what better. What are you doing, dad? But it's like, who oh, are you sending this to? Not to your son. No. I mean, that's it's horrible. Your anyway. daughter or son, anyone. That's not good. That is beyond. <laughs> oh my god! You don't gosh. talk about it. Okay, if you got a nude from your mom, would you bring it up to your mom, or would you? Yes. Like- <laughs> I thought you were gonna say no. I would call her immediately <laughs> and be like, "What are what are we doing here? Are you kidding? Even if that um, happened from my dad, I'd be like." Yeah, you yeah, just yeah. sent me something like what? What's going on? <laughs> you just like sent me something I can never unsee. I was just talking this weekend to a friend about how like some families are very like don't ask, don't tell, just like oh like brush things under mm-hmm. the rug, and I feel like my family is just not really like that. Like yeah, I feel like it's kind of just out in the open. It's like okay, what what is happening? Yeah, and yeah, if something like that happened, oh yeah, we I feel like it. I wouldn't just be like delete it and be like. Never will I speak of it. I would literally yeah. call them immediately and be like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. you just sent me something. <laughs> and I'm <Check>. terrified. <laughs> like, what are we doing? What if I accidentally sent you a nude? I'd be like, slay. <laughs> slay like the hot house mama. down. <laughs> slay the boots down. I'm screaming. Okay. I'd be a little shook. <laughs> I'd be a little shook, but you know. Crazy things so happen. Funny. I feel like that's yeah. best case scenario. Send it to your friend. Yeah, it's like, okay, that doesn't friend. really matter. Mm-hmm. Okay, thought I was texting my friend, but accidentally sent the guy I was seeing a picture of himself and said he's <gasps> not this ugly in person. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's not this ugly in person. It's crazy. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Honestly, if he's cool, he'd think that's funny. He'd be like, you're right, I'm not. If roles were reversed, <laughs> I would kill myself. <laughs> Imagine you go on a date with some guy 
she's not this ugly person. I swear. I'd be like, I'll see myself out. <laughs> I would be like, you know what? You're right. Everyone says they can't tell what I look like from photos. And <laughs> so thank goodness. Thank goodness. That's not the real me. <laughs> Call oh, back. Wow. Screaming. That's unbelievable. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. When I was in high school, my dad was so strict and he was going out of town and I meant to text my best friend. My dad's going out of town. Let's get crazy <gasps> and sent it to my dad. <laughs> Your dad? I, if, okay. That's hilarious. Things like this, not to talk about parenting more, but <laughs> anyways, being a mom. <laughs> no, these are moments I look forward to in, um, when your kids are like teenagers and they do things and me and Nick can laugh about it. Like, yeah. that's so funny. Like if we got a text from like one of our kids, it's like my parents are out of town. Let's get crazy. And we just, it's funny to us. Yeah. It's like, obviously you get them in trouble, but you're laughing to each other. Yeah, like, totally. Oh, classic teenagers. Oh my gosh. Something that I was not expecting, um, after I graduated high school and just started, you know, doing adult things, trying to get a new car, getting a loan for something, was how much my credit would affect me and just what I needed to survive in this day and age. Credit is so important and it's also very confusing, honestly. So if you have bad or below average or maybe even non-existent credit, that can hold you back from buying a house, a car, or even moving into a new apartment. And we have a new sponsor, Kickoff. They are amazing. So Kickoff is the fastest, easiest way to safely jumpstart your credit and get to those goals quicker. No credit check required. So you can sign up for a monthly plan in minutes and start building credit immediately for as low as five bucks. This is going to be such a game changer if you are maybe just now, you know, you graduated high school, you graduated college, you really want to get a credit card and you want to start building your credit. Kickoff is going to be such a great resource for you. Kickoff is a credit line that is just for credit building, not everyday spending. So users with credit under 600 increase their credit by an average of 30 points in the first month. Kickoff is a smart, legit credit hack with no catch and no credit check. It's simple. You make on-time payments, credit bureaus see good behavior, and your credit grows. I feel like it can just feel very daunting and overwhelming to try and learn about credit, and this just makes it really easy and effective and very, very helpful. You can sign up in minutes from your phone and start building credit right away. You use auto pay to build credit while you sleep and never worry about missing a payment. And there's no credit check. Like I mentioned, you can cancel anytime. So join over a million people building credit with a kickoff credit account today. Get your first month for a dollar. That is 80% of the normal price when you go to getkickoff.com slash what we said today. That is kickoff without the C. So get K-I-K-O-F-F dot com slash what we said. Must sign up via getkickoff.com slash what we said to activate offer. Offer applies to new kickoff customers first month only, subject to approval. Average impact of 30 point increase in first month based on Equifax's Vantage Score 3.0 changes for kickoff premium customers with starting credit below 600 who made their first on-time payment between January 2021 and March of 2024. Payment and credit activity outside kickoff can have an impact on your credit. Terms and conditions may apply. Offer subject to change and individual results may vary. After working a 6 a.m. shift, I texted my coworker, I really need a nap. I realized that after I hit send that it had autocorrected to, I really need anal. (gasps) (laughs) (laughs) Needs it. (laughs) The doctor prescribed. (laughs) It's only one fix for (laughs) what I've got going on. Oh my gosh. At least that one's like pretty easy to be like, oh my gosh, I met an app like that. Is, yeah, yeah. It's, oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> you see on TikTok the trend where um, my eyes like hurt from laughing. Um, the trend where they do, where they put in their husband's phone, anytime he tries to say a compliment, it turns to fat. Yeah. yeah. Like, you look fat. Yeah, she's like, what do I? What do you think about this picture? He's like, you look fat. I mean, fat. You look so fat. <laughs> and he's like trying to correct it. It's so funny. It's so funny. Oh man, well, I messed up my makeup because I was laughing so hard. One time, my boyfriend at the time was texting me. I can't wait to come on your face <laughs> with invisible ink, but he sent it to his mom. <laughs> there was. <laughs> Not invisible. <laughs> Wait, I'm going to see. I'm going 
if you have yeah, invisible <laughs> ink. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> I'm going to be. Oh, uh, my pelvic floor is not ready for this. Jeez. <laughs> That's what I mean. <laughs> there was literally no lying his way out of this one. So awkward. <laughs> I am sweating oh, and I sobbing. I literally have to check my makeup. <laughs> Wrong day to wear winged liner. I have tears in my eyes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I, it's just so funny to me that it's like with like a little like. <laughs> little sprinkle. Yeah. Oh, uh, <laughs> that is unbelievable. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's your turn. <laughs> oh, I feel sick. I'm going to go into labor. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm a real estate agent. And the other day my client texted me thoughts on abortion. I figured it was, a <laughs> what? I figured it was a typo or wrong person. And yet, and yes, she did not mean to send that to me. I'm eight months pregnant. LOL. This whole thing. <laughs> did she? Wait, 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 what? what? Thoughts on abortion? <laughs> And she did, but she did mean to send it, so it wasn't accidental. To an eight-month pregnant lady is crazy. Okay. What are we talking about? <laughs> what is happening? That is insane. So bizarre. She never found out. No. Okay. We can assume it was, but she never corrected it? Well, she didn't say. That's it's just how it ended. Oh, my gosh. Oh, man. I cannot get myself together right now. Okay. Accidentally sent a <laughs> now all of these are just extra funny because I already have the giggle, the giggle bug. <laughs> Accidentally sent a picture of my ass to a group text with my husband and my mother-in-law. <laughs> I sent miss you with it. My mother-in-law replied, I can see that. I couldn't talk to her for like a month afterwards. Oh. Oh no, no, no. <laughs> the I fact can that she replied that. though is good, honestly. It's, it's better than ignoring it. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's hilarious. My gosh. In a group text. <laughs> that actually is where it could go wrong because sometimes when you type in a contact, it will show you random group messages you're in together. Yeah, yeah. Not yeah. even in order of like latest. I know. So I you could click that. on the wrong one. I have ha I have done that before actually. Like clicked <clears throat> on the wrong group text. Mm -hmm. Texted my high school boyfriend a nude when his phone was taken away. His dad received it. <gasps> I came home to my dad ground, grounding me for two months because his dad called my dad. Wish oh, it were the on. moms instead. Oh, yeah. Oh. <sighs> Why do you call your dad? <sighs> oh, because he knew that he was going to. Yeah. Ooh. Yikes. That would put me in my grave. Like, I would be so embarrassed. That's bad. Their That's bad dad one. and... And he's and mad, your dad. so he's calling your dad. Yeah, and then like next time you go over to their house, it's just like, hi, e how y'all doing? <laughs> hey, how y'all doing? <laughs> okay, I had both my dad and my boyfriend in my phone as daddy. <laughs> Without Goals. going into too much detail, in case this episode is more PG, I sent my dad a long text about what we were going to do be doing later that night. This is the first time I had tried sexting. It definitely was the last. <gasps> Oh, I'm braver just, than the Marines no. to have them both the same contact. Yeah, that is some differentiation. You knew that that was happening. Honestly, you asked, you were asking. For that it. is, oh my gosh, all about what you're gonna do later. Oh, <laughs> R.I.P. What would you even? That is actually the most embarrassing thing I've ever. No, actually, I can't even if imagine. I did that to my sweet dad, I would. Like, I, I can't think of anything much worse. No. I don't even know what I would say to my dad. Like, I would be so embarrassed. I would literally be like, it's I would probably go tell my mom. I'd probably be like, mom, I sent this text and it's got sent to dad. Can you go delete it from his phone before he looks at it? And then oh, if he already saw I it. I truly oh. cannot even imagine. You got to use that unsend button. Yeah. But it didn't exist when the story probably took place. I know. Okay, I'm a wedding photographer and one of my brides texted me a photo of her dress before the wedding. I was so excited and meant to text her, ah, I just screamed. But instead I texted her, ah, I just creamed. <laughs> Did, didn't realize for a solid 30 minutes, so awkward. <laughs> Honestly, if I sent myself like in a wedding photo and someone replied that I didn't know that well, I would think that was kind of funny. Yeah, for sure. 
Like I that's, would just okay, assume that's what the they typos meant. are better because it's like you can be like, oh my gosh, I meant screamed. Like, yeah, goodbye. And it's funny. funny. But that is especially it's like a professional. Yeah, I just setting. creamed. I just creamed. Creamed is such a funny word. All right, this is my last one. My husband received a text from his father a few years ago saying, "I miss you. I cannot wait to give you some of this hard dick." <laughs> We were obviously freaking out because what the actual F. He quickly called my husband and said that the text was meant for his girlfriend. I will never look at him the same. You are. At least you know that they're, you know, like having a healthy sex life. Hold on. That was his dad to his son? Yeah. Dad to the son? Mm hmm. Wow. <laughs> I can't even fathom no. receiving that message. No. Honestly, Beyond. what's worse? Like a sexy text? Oh, no, no, no. A picture is way worse because you can't see that. Yeah. But like the knowing of, of their... The intimacy just... Oh. Yeah. Just knowing they intentionally <sighs> yes. like were like typing something up and like feeling horny is like... <laughs> not what you want to be no. experiencing with your parents no. in any form or fashion <laughs> oh my gosh okay this is my last one my sister sent a sweet photo of her newborn <laughs> her newborn son to the family group chat i replied i replied he's so snuggly as i'm hitting auto crunch he just said, he's so ugly no, no. Oh, no. Oh. Literally first photo to the group chat. He's so ugly. <laughs> I immediately sent multiple texts correcting it. Luckily, she thought it was funny, but for a moment, I thought my sister would never speak to me again because oh, of autocorrect. Oh, my gosh. Oh, he's so <laughs> ugly. <laughs> it's probably true, too. That's the thing. Okay. To other people. Yeah, true. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. I'm glad we read those. Those were so that funny. That just made my day. I know. I, woo, the parent ones really take me out. I think, what was your favorite? Because mine, my personal favorite was the invisible ink. <laughs> mine was too. I, I was not well. Oh my gosh. Something about that one just hit me today. If you're seriously using invisible <laughs> ink for something, like you're seriously trying to hide something, that is just hilarious honestly oh my gosh have you ever used invisible ink i think like maybe as a joke like i've never yeah. actually used it to but doesn't <laughs> it like kind of like funny. disperse and like that's you like, have to go over it right 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 how do you use it that's actually funny to use as like comedic you know true like true. if you were to say an insult to someone but like <laughs> you did he's so ugly in invisible ink in your message i'm gonna just type i look ugly and do it with invisible ink how do i do that I want to see. I'm going to send it to you and see what it looks like. Um, I think you hold it down. Oh, 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 this gentle invisible ink. Okay. Send. Okay. I'm absolutely screaming. It's like that. Okay, so it's like. <laughs> <laughs> so his mom just gets that the little sparkles at first. Little like sparkles. What could my son have said? A secret message from my son. <laughs> a, a riddle. <laughs> <laughs> I want to. I can't wait to come on your face. <laughs> that is unreal. <laughs> that's invisible funny, ink. That's is a crazy. funny way to diss someone. Did it go back to invisible ink? Yeah. That's so funny. Oh, oh my gosh. My gosh. If I was in high school and I had that, that would be so funny to use. That is really funny. We should start using that. <laughs> like, that actually is hilarious. Yeah. I am oh sweating. Like saying something to, what if you just get an invisible ink message from your crush and you're like, oh, and it's like, I hate you. Or I'm breaking up with you. You're like, cool. Yeah. Gets broken up with via invisible ink. It's just, <laughs> oh my gosh. It's so funny. Okay. Oh, thank you guys so much for writing those in. Sorry it took us a I'm moment. I'm hot and bothered. To get, to get into the episode. But hope you guys enjoyed. We'll be back next week for a brand new episode. Or is, is it Friday? I don't know what the schedule is at this point. I think hot and bothered means I'm feeling it, sexual. Uh, it does. I meant I'm feeling hot and sweaty because I'm laughing so hard. Same. And these lights are bright. Yeah. Um, if you guys want to follow along, we're at What We Said Podcast on Instagram, What We Said on TikTok. You can watch us on YouTube. Just type in What We Said Podcast. We're everywhere. 
You can't get rid of us. And if you're feeling really nice, you can leave us a rating and review on the Apple Podcast app or on the Spotify app. It would mean the world to us. We love you guys so, so much. And that's, that's what, what we said. said. Bye. Bye.